welcome to Mad Dog and Barrel's Midwest Grilling. For the eighth time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what, we're going to have a wonderful time here today. We are our good friends at Feeding America. We are in the Milwaukee campus. Uh, we'll also be visiting our good friend Leslie at the Appleton campus for Feeding America. But wonderful recipes along the way. Louisiana Grills presents Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' Feeding America Special. Brought to you by Louisiana Grills and Smokers, Pit Boss Grills, America's Pork Producers, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, Sundrop Soda, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, Cherry Delight, Shooting Star Casino, and by Lash Bro Aerial Images. Welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, we got some great recipes for you good folks today. Yeah, I told, I told, I told Fast Freddy we were doing some Italian sausage. Yeah. Some beautiful <laughs> potato salad. Yeah. And some shrimp hors d'oeuvres. So that's not, that's not an apron he's wearing, that's his bib. <laughs> <laughs> he takes that wherever he goes. Wherever he goes, you should see him with lobster and ribs. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. How you been, Freddie? Freddie's doing great. I'm so excited to be here. You know, this is such a great opportunity. And tonight's the big night. The, yeah. the gala. They That's have the gala. Right. So behind us normally is a, is a, is a we were kind of hoping for a warehouse full of yeah. about 20 different volunteers because every half day they switch 20 volunteers to another 20 volunteers. That's 40. And that's just in the Milwaukee campus. The Appleton one does the same. So every day they have 80 volunteers for Feeding America at their campuses to pack food, to get food ready, oh. to prepackage what came into the different packages. Right. Well, there's so much to do. I mean, people do not realize that. You know, they just think, okay, they drop off the food and that's it. I go to the grocery store and I buy it. People, <laughs> yeah. people can't, people, honest to goodness, your neighbors can't do that. Uh, one out of eight neighbors in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood at home right now, not necessarily don't know where their next meal is coming from, but it's not it's not enough. That's right. And I find it surprising when we saw the statistics. Yeah. Uh, we talked with Patty last week. This week we're talking with Leslie, you know, just a little bit. Uh, so everything that we'll be doing here today, we're doing we're continuing with our Galathon, and they're doing their gala tonight. It's a fundraiser. Ours is a fundraiser. Uh, we invite you to go to feedingamericawi.org, feedingamericawi.org, if you would please. Uh, yeah, that, that's in eastern Wisconsin. Uh, if you're not in eastern Wisconsin area, it's just feedingamerica.org. Donate, 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 volunteer, do a food drive, whatever it is. It, it's yeah. a, please do I it. I learned Very that important. $1. How much does $1 feed? Four meals. Four. Oh, Freddie, if you, if, you, if you donated 20, how many meals is that? <laughs> 80! 80 meals! 20 bucks, 80 meals! Boy, you guys are pretty good Freddie can't even buy a ribeye steak for that. <laughs> no, and, they, that's and, for and, sure. Yeah, and you right. folks can donate 20 bucks and feed 80 different meals to different folks in need in your neighborhood. It's, I find it amazing. You gotta do it. It's so simple to do. Just donate. <laughs> really. No matter what. Well, what are we cooking is. here? That's that's exactly. Freddie's got his bib on. He's yeah, all ready to go. Right. Oh, look at him. <laughs> you know, what do you think this is, Freddie? A cooking show? Yeah, I mean, what's so, it is. so at their gala tonight, our good friends at Louisiana Grills uh, 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 donated a beautiful uh, pellet grill. Uh, this is the 1200 series behind us of the Louisiana pe uh, pellet uh, grill, yeah. the, the 1200 series. We've got the 800 fired up outside, uh, and we're so pleased to be involved with those good folks. Uh, they got, but by the way, everywhere we go now, I used to have larger big spatulas. Yeah. Never again. This heavy duty here is from Louisiana Grills. So if you ask and you call in, people message us every week. Oh, yeah, here. I know it. How do you, where do you get those big spatulas? <laughs> It's, uh, you go to Louisiana Grills, uh, and you can find big old spatches like this, and that baby's, feel that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, 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 surprised even with the tongs. That's as heavy duty as it gets. I know, isn't that amazing? Yeah, those tongs. Uh, what time the spatulas, the tongs, Merrill's going to be using the basting brush on yeah. some beautiful shrimp hors d'oeuvres that we're doing. They're just gorgeous, yeah. high quality uh, products. Now they know where to get the spatulas. Though. Louisiana Grills, the exactly Everybody right, has. folks. We are so proud to be with them. Uh, we have some spicy Italian sausage. Merrill brown those up on the Louisiana grill. What's nice is uh, there's a, there's a, just a little lever you push over, and you got a sear station right. that goes to about a, a, a thousand degree surface temperature. Yeah, thousand degree nice. surface temperature on the 1200 uh, behind us. Uh, so it's just phenomenal for your steaks and hamburgers. But he seared up some beautiful uh, Italian sausage, spicy Italians, 
and we're going to throw those spicy Italians right inside our nice little tray. Now, we're shooting earlier in the year, and our good friends uh, at Louisiana and Pit Bosses didn't, uh, we don't quite have our cast iron skillets and, and yeah. Dutch ovens, and that's what I really wanted to use. So they can get one of those, but we've got our sauces and our sausages in there. Uh, any array of things. This is an offtake of the brat brine that we do. Sure. The brat brine is, is, is sauerkraut, beer, peppers, onions, uh, uh, whatever else goes in there. Uh, but we're in front of us here today, because we have the Italian sausages, uh, we're doing beautiful, uh, nice, beautiful, sweet yellow peppers. So we'll throw the yellow peppers. I'm going to mix those all around, get those sausages in the bottom so it bends up nice. Mm. Uh, we've got Spanish onions and red peppers. I love it, man. So far, so good. So far, so good. It's always good. Yeah. I don't think you get more car colorful. No, that. you certainly no, can't, can you? Oh, wow. Uh, that, that's the diversity, and that's the diversity that uh, that Feeding America helps. It's, it's everybody. It's just, right. a, it's just exactly. amazing, you know? Uh, banana peppers, Freddie's favorite. Yeah, I love banana I peppers. I do, too. We're going to throw some banana peppers in there. I should have saved the moisture. Freddie, I want you to try something here. Close your, close your eyes and, and grab one of these. Because right. <laughs> what do they look like? Well, they look like green olives. Just close your eyes and right. taste it. Now taste it, taste it real good. Tastes like a black olive. They just like a black Honest olive. Honest to God, ain't that great? He's Freddie loves great. black olives. Oh, I'd go for so that. So I mistakenly bought ripe green <laughs> olives, ripe green <laughs> olives, and all they are is, is a beautiful black olive that's a green olive that's been ripened. Is that what on it the is? Vine. Sure. Otherwise, uh, otherwise the rest are, are green and green olives. Isn't that crazy? Freddie, well, do you want these instead of me putting them in there? Well, you took all the pimentos out of them, too. There were, there were no pimentos. <laughs> <laughs> that was the trick. Oh, they're good. <laughs> you want any more, Freddie? Oh, I have one. There won't be any for our guests. No. <laughs> <laughs> and so for a little bit of flavor, we're going to throw some pepperoni. There you go. Yeah, Ooh. that's what I say, too. We, want, we need a little pepperoni. I'm going to dig that baby down below. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to squeeze a little mm. lemon over the top of that. Now, we've got some great potato salad. And when we were in uh, Appleton campus, uh, our good friends at Wisconsin Potato Growers, uh, they had about 6,000 pounds, almost 10,000 pounds of red potatoes, right. of potatoes and pallets that they were donating, and that was one day. They had the warehouse, the campus. The campus was packed with food, aisle to aisle, layered up, uh, tow motors lifting things up and down on pallets. Those get rotated like every day. No. 53 million pounds a year they help to, to donate, and that's just in the 35 counties that Wisconsin's, uh, eastern Wisconsin uh, uh, supplies. Right. I just find that amazing. That's 53 million pounds of food that they help focus with every year. You just got to educate people more. Just so no, we idea. could add just about anything to this, but Merrill made a little, is making a little concoction to well, add. Well, I am, get I these am. I like, as you know, as we like garlic. We use a whole bunch of garlic. A, a lot, lot of garlic. garlic. A lot of garlic. A lot of garlic. Well, Italian sausage. You gotta have that Italian sausage. Italian. Oh, here we go on. Some red wine. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, all of it, Freddie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Freddie. Freddie goes, yeah, every last you know, drop. Freddie's gonna go to use that. <laughs> Little basil. Oh, I'll go for her. Oh, what the heck, little time. <laughs> little time, little basil. Boy, those guys sure are messy. <laughs> Here we go. Grilling magic. Lower sodium garlic pepper blend of ours. We'll put a little oil in there before I, I add might add, sauce. we donated some nice uh, uh, sauces and spices. or spices also to feed in America, so it allows and us then, to be course, here with you good folks. This is it. Hickory barbecue sauce. Says it all. We've got all the flavors for the Italian sausage. The whole bottle. The whole bottle, boy. And nothing but the whole bottle. Hickory. I'm thinking so Hickory, Hickory, Jackson, Hickory, yeah. Doc. Gotta have a little lemon in there. Lemon. So Stir as Mero that mixes that all up and gets that together, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that, put that on the Louisiana grill, and that's set for a lower temperature of about 325, 350. A lot of times with the beer brines, we'll sit and bubble that, but because of the amount of moisture, because of the amount of stuff, we wanna slow cook and let it, every, all the flavors blend together. So that's basically what we're gonna do. You ready to pour? And are you pouring on I'm ready to pour, sir. I'll Don't get any on me. There we go. Don't get any on me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Look at that. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Every last drop, you know, one dollar feeds four people That's four right. meals. One dollar feeds four meals. Every last drop counts, ladies and gentlemen. Now you know this is in Wisconsin. Sure. And you know what Wisconsin's favorite addition to this whole thing is gonna be? Well, Freddie, we got wine, not beer. Butter! butter. Hey, Freddie, give, butter. Me butter. give me the butter, give me the butter, butter, butter. Thank you, Freddie. <laughs> oh. oh. 
That oh. makes a big difference. And you warm that up on your muffler in your car. <laughs> I appreciate that. Everything tastes good with butter. You don't mind if we use both sticks, do you, Freddie? I would prefer if you did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I once grilled a chicken for two hours, and he still never told me why he crossed the street. <laughs> you know why he did it, though, don't you? No, he wouldn't tell me. He had to prove to the possum it could be done. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, Get deep in here, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly right. <laughs> uh, as we take a little break, hey, by the way, I'm going to take another one of our great accessories. Okay. Uh, a, pair, a sister company to our good friends at Louisiana Grills is Pit Boss. And they got the best accessories and the most variety. Anything and everything you want, you need to go to Pit Boss or Louisiana Grills. They got some aluminum foil. We're going to seal this baby up. We're going to get it on our Louisiana Grill. But in the meantime, during this break, you go to Feed America, Feeding America, WI.org, Feeding America, WI.org, or FeedingAmerica.org, depending on where you're living. Freddie, take us away, young man. Do it, ladies and gentlemen. Just Freddy, do Freddy, it. Freddy, 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 Freddy. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I hope you're having as much fun as we are today, <laughs> helping to feed America. And that's what you folks can do. This is our this is our first annual Galathon uh, on television. Yes, Galathon is. as opposed uh, to gala a telethon. Too. <laughs> you're invited to go to uh, feedingamericawi.org or feedingamerica.org. There you go. You and, and another good friend of ours, and, and the donations, donations. <laughs> Next segment, we're going to talk with Leslie. We had those 10,000 pounds of Wisconsin taters. Right. Yep. Eatwisconsinpotatoes.com. Uh, I, I had choices, and I love potato salad. I do, too. Love making potato salad. And my favorite way to do it, and it's more heartier, is I actually take the potatoes raw, I glisten them with an oil, and all I simply do is brown them up on the grill, and then I cool them down. These are the gorgeous golds. So we're going to take our gold potatoes and we're going to mm. cube those up. These are the wonderful. They're white on the inside, but they're red on the outside. So we have the we have the nice baby potato, baby red potatoes, and we have the Wisconsin golds. We're going to get rid of those because we have enough. I'm not going to sit and cut them babies up. <laughs> but we do have some lovely eggs, and I am going to do all the different eggs. In fact, okay. we'll, how about we do a little topping? Maybe I won't be able to oh, do yeah. this. Oh yeah, good idea. We'll just we'll save that for the top of the potato, so it kind of has a little potato salad. You folks make potato salad at home? If you I brown do. the potatoes up, if you brown those potatoes up on the grill, they get beautifully charred. Here's the reds, here's the golds over here. They get that nice gold flavor, so you can make a hearty sauce. You can add hearty ingredients to them. So we're gonna take our, our cubed up potatoes, the reds gotcha. and the golds, and we're gonna throw those in there. I'm gonna add our beautiful eggs. Beautiful. Do you add radishes to your potato salad, Freddie? No, this is new to me. You know, Kathy's favorite is German potato salad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I can't, yeah. I can't wait to have this. We're gonna do German potato salad this summer. All right. We're gonna get our Louisiana grill fired up outdoors. <laughs> We've got that cast iron skillets coming yeah. from oh, yeah. them, folks. Man, so so this is. Uh, my dad taught me how to cook. The first thing I ever made, and Dad, I know you're watching right now. Uh, the first thing I ever learned how to make was potato salad. Really? And, oh yeah. Isn't that crazy? And then meatloaf. Yeah. But it, so it was, it was always radishes, celery, and a little bit of onion. No, don't overpower the onion, or mom got mad. <laughs> I bet you she did. She didn't. She didn't have far to go. <laughs> and we're we're gonna mix those babies up. And what a gorgeous little combination that is. It looks great. It doesn't it look good? Look at the yeah. look at the beautiful combination. The radishes, the celery, the onion in there, the egg, and the two different choices of potatoes are phenomenal. But the main thing's in the dressing. You've got to have the dressing, you know? You did, or you, or you get arrested. All right, so here we've got, got some Miracle Whip here. I'm going to also bad, use a whole bad. container of Greek yogurt. Makes a big difference. Adds a little, little bit different for the blending of it. Yeah. Hold one whole container. I never that. added the Greek yogurt. That sounds interesting. Oh, it's good. Really? Yeah, it's a little, sort of little bit of a... I don't Sour. Say sweet. Yeah, you little, better sweeten that up. A little tag. So I will. How about a little sugar in there? Okay. A whole bunch of sugar. Now we're talking. You know, well, how about tarting that up now with a little bit of white vinegar? Ooh. All right. How about a little basil? Yeah. And basil, because of the hearty potatoes, because we charred them on the grill, you can add some basil. Right. You don't have to do that. Really much. magic. Garlic pepper blend, low sodium garlic pepper. And then just a little bit. Because mom either got mad at the sodium <laughs> content or right. the onions. Exactly. <laughs> Boy, she'd get mad a lot. You know what? You see? Constantly. 
All hey, right, as, as Merrill, this is the gala tonight, and they're doing a gala here at the campus in Milwaukee, and we're doing our own gala-thon. These are beautiful, awesome shrimp.com. These are the awesome shrimp, and I grilled up the shrimp, and I cooled them down. I grilled the shrimp two minutes on the side, hot grill, hot grill. I put my searing station on my Louisiana grill, hot grill, and I seared up the shrimp two, two minutes on the side, string cheese and pepperoni and green olives, those we're gonna baste with a nice little balsamic vinaigrette and spicy barbecue sauce blended together. We're gonna glaze those oh, together. Beautiful. So that's gonna be our, our little event at the at the end there. If we don't get a chance to get to it, I apologize. But all right, look, give me that, give me that mixture. Give me that mixture. There you go. I hope that I need that, I need that maybe too. All right. I think. Oh, watch out for your Greek yogurt. Oh, yeah, Greek yogurt. yogurt. The whole shooting caboodle goes in there, you folks. Got it, sir. And I hope it's enough. One jar doesn't go goes a long ways, but I'll tell you what. It's like a bottle of bourbon around Merrill and Freddie. There you go. Freddie, you want to lick the bowl? <laughs> oh, no, I better not. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do have my apron on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bib. <laughs> That's working out That's good. Working oh, yeah, out. this perfect. I love potato salad. Did I tell you I love potato salad? I love potato, potato salad. salad. Oh, thing. I make it every week at home. He could eat a lot of potato salad. Here we go. Show it off. Yep. How's that looking? Look at that, man. And we're going to stir that one more time. Beautiful, beautiful. And we have our... Man, get a picture of that. Yeah, ain't that crazy? A little egg on the top for wash. Egg wash. Egg wash. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a garnish. <laughs> <laughs> and mom, and my mom should have put a little paprika on there. A little paprika. <laughs> we'll be right back. I'll tell you what. We're going to talk with Leslie in the next segment. Look at that beautiful potato salad, folks. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm ready to dig in. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Well, I'll tell you what. Look at that, look at, bring that cameraman back here again. Look at that, look at that beautiful sausages in there. Look at that mess there. Oh, man. That's a bellyache waiting to happen, let me tell I you like that. that. Absolutely delicious potato salad, our wonderful, awesome shrimp. We have PJ back with us. PJ is the mascot for Feeding America. You can go to feedingamericawi.org if you would, please. Feedingamericawi.org. That's in eastern Wisconsin. Please donate. Please help out. Please, please volunteer. Please, please. Corporation, fund drives, anything you can do. Please help out folks in need. Uh, feedingamerica.org. If you're national, please do that. Uh, we had a chance to visit the Appleton campus. That yes, was a good we time. Did. Freddie, you weren't with us, were you? I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a great time. We had a good time. Lobster and steak. Finally, we, oh, no, we well, didn't. Do I that. was in Arizona, remember? Oh, that, oh there yeah, you go. Right. Anyway, yeah. we had a chance to talk with Leslie. Let's take a little listen to what Leslie had to say. Campus over in Appleton. Thank you, PJ. Uh, we're, I'm pleased to be here with Leslie from Feeding America. Okay. Thanks for having us, dear. We are at the Fox Cities campus here right now. And, and, and Leslie, I see a. a we're in the warehouse. I see different uh, folks running around in forklifts. Mm -hmm. uh, they're employees. How many employees exist with Feed America? We have about 65 between our two campuses in Milwaukee and in the Fox Cities here. And then, and then there's a uh, room over here, and I see uh, what appears to be folks that may not be employed, but they no. seem to be in a room back here. Are they volunteers? Well, what is so powerful about Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin is that the volunteers help us a lot out with things. And that is our clean room, yep. which is where, for example, today we're putting sorting cereal. We get these huge, we call them silos of cereal. It's they look like this. fruit loops. They are. It is. <laughs> and from, and uh, they are taking this huge silo and they're putting them into two pound bags, into bags and sorting them. So. Uh, Volunteers are vital to us. And, and, the, and the sorting and everything in this warehouse gets rotated like weekly. Yes. Uh, daily and weekly. Our uh, forklift guys are busy. Yep. And they don't go to individuals per se, they go to food pantries. Mm -hmm. Food pantries, church organizations, yep. child care centers, um, things that keep the community going into all different places where people can find them. For instance, right now we're, we're, we're about 3,000 pounds, just came in today. Good old fashioned Wisconsin potatoes. Uh, you can go to eatwisconsinpotatoes.com to learn more about those good folks. Okay. But we thank them for volunteering and for donating. And without the donations, things just don't roll. 
Oh yeah, I have been to our uh, mobile food pantries and the potatoes are very popular in that. Yep, exactly yeah. right. We've got onions, we've got bananas, we got mac and cheese. I see all kinds of good stuff mm -hmm. here for the Feed America. And I'll tell you what, and with the volunteers, now the volunteers over here, you have two shifts of 40, mm -hmm. two shifts of 20 every day. You got yes. 40 volunteers each day times five days. That's mm -hmm. about 200 volunteers every week yep. uh, rotating around. Some the same volunteers and some different. Mm -hmm. But if you want to get invo involved with volunteering, it's feedamericawi.org. Feedamericawi.org. And you can help to volunteer, you can help to donate. Uh, all the great things. Leslie, thank you for spending some time with us. We you do bet. appreciate you. Come on out. It's a lot of fun. So check It is out. a lot of fun. Exactly right. They're having fun. They're sorting yeah. the, the Fruit yeah. Loops. And Meryl would fit right in with the Fruit Loops and so would Fast Freddy. <laughs> 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 and speaking of that, Freddy, take it away. <laughs> Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.